Stray is not a game about a cat. In fact, it's a story about all of us. About the world, society, our sins and our fears. Hidden beneath the cutesy exterior and dystopian cyber city, Stray delivers a rich narrative to those receptive to it. What started off as a haha look at me now, I can meow and shove paintings off a ledge, exploration style game, turned into a puzzle game, untainted by politically correct themes. That being said, and as to be expected with the cat protagonist, Stray is not all of thought-provoking statements and it springs eternal with humour and fun. Some of it is right in your face, whereas some more subtle and more satisfying to uncover. Now you begin in a peaceful setting, along with your three cat wives. You lazily wake, rub up against the family, meow, purposefully stare into the distance, and then embark on another day of adventure. Soon, you're catapulted into a life of crime. I'm talking about vandalism, breaking and entering, cat burgling, and even destruction of government property. It's quite badass, actually. After a dramatic, heart-wrenching, emotional, and gut-churning cutscene, you find yourself in a long-forgotten slum. Underground, and under the proverbial gun, you need to find your feet. They're not lost, but you certainly did not land on them. The game gingerly teaches you that you are more than capable of just a meow, although meowing is adorable, every time. It's the most adorable thing, and you'll do it lots. Bit back on track. You're able to use the satisfying art of shoving things off ledges to get you through the beginning phases, then you'll learn that you can use your cute little face to carry stuff around, and there you go. You're now a seasoned, intelligent quadruped, interacting with the environment and owning it, of course. If you were coming into Stray expecting to play the game doing lots of cat things, you'll be richly rewarded. Meowing, shoving, sleeping, jumping, walking on keyboards and pianos, breaking stuff, and even sitting in boxes is all part of the experience. There might even be a couple of achievements in it for you, but a lot of these things are also essential for puzzle solving and game progression. Now, despite the fact you are a majestic feline with just about limitless potential and prowess, and certainly a no need of help from anyone or anything, the developers provide you with a droid companion. B12 is a self-aware AI who's found himself into a little droid body, and you soon enter into an agreement to help each other reach their respective goals. B12 can take some duties off your hands, such as digitizing keys, hacking, and providing intel when needed. As the story progresses, your goals are unified, and before long, your companion is no longer a quest giver, but an integral part of your survival. B12 neatly tucks into a tiny cat backpack, and it's the best thing in the world, really. And considering there are lasers involved, you're pretty much Dr. Evil with sharks that have lasers attached to their head. Except you're a cat, and the droid has a laser, but it's the same thing, right? Not only is B12 a compact companion, but also a huge part of Stray's story, and that is where things become increasingly more interesting. Stray has a balanced and seamless transition through levels, puzzles, and story, which was refreshing, to say the least. At first I wasn't all too sure that I'd be seeing many different scenarios, but surprisingly, there is a clear divide between where you start and where the game takes you, and this applies to more than just the scenery. Gameplay may be simple throughout a good deal of the game, but don't let these simple controls fool you. There'll be times when you'll be challenged. Whether it's to defeat enemies, run a gauntlet, or solve a puzzle, Stray can get a little sweaty at times. As the game progresses, so too does the need to use your simple interactions to solve more difficult puzzles. For those concerned, Stray on PC offers full controller support for those who prefer not to take advantage of the mouse and keyboard route. I think what I appreciated most is playing as a cat is not overdone. For those who enjoy the theme, the gameplay is rewarding. Well, for those who enjoy solving puzzles, it's just as easy to forget that you're a cat. I appreciated also that the protagonist is neutral enough to have me enjoy the game without worrying about things like gender, cosmetics, irritating voice acting, long-winded dialogue, and most of all, humans, to be honest. Character progression is subtle, but deeply felt as you get closer to the end. It briefly applies to some of the robots you come across, but most significantly to B12 and the cat. It's not comparable to what you may experience in a AAA 100-hour game, but suitable for a game of Stray's length. Learning and evolving AI is a prominent theme throughout the game, and honestly, more than a little bit unsettling. Like it could be real, like that could be our future. This is where that tiny bit of fear I mentioned at the start of the review creeps in, and it really gets your mind going. It might not be something picked up for or cared for by all players, but personally I appreciated the effort from the developers to incorporate some real-world issues into their work of fiction. Now the gaming world has changed, we know that. Gamers crave richer experiences and value for money. We want to put in some real good time for the money we spend, especially considering how expensive a good gaming experience has become, and the normalization of things like paid DLC, microtransactions and the like. Then there's also the era of content creation. Milking a good game you bought for content is no longer limited to video game writers. Almost every young gamer you meet will be a content creator of some sort. Stray, having been one of the most anticipated games of the year, 
has turned everything on its head and succeeded in delivering a quality game with just the right dosage. You could probably finish the game in under 5 hours if you like, but then you can still spend more than double that if you want to savour it and complete all the little side achievements too. Still not even close to a modern 15 to 20 hour game, yet more satisfying than most of those. You really do get great value for money here. And I'm not just talking about the time spent playing alone, but rather the very satisfying experience of it all. You feel like you've achieved the goal, and you're not left with a cliffhanger ending, and you can move on to something else without that feeling you left something unfinished. Without feeling that you just spent the last 5-7 to seven hours of your life on nothing but a taster, you can move on and forever carry Stray with you as a fun memory, something wholesome, and something fulfilling. What I'd really like to see is more of Stray, less of AAA games riddled with bugs, endless patches, and repetitive DLC content. Taken as a whole, Stray is a polished and beautiful game, minus one or two moments with funny camera angles. There aren't any bugs that'll see you fall through stages, or any unexpected crashes. You may not always stop long enough to enjoy the visually stunning details and textures, but they are there. It's not the biggest world you've ever seen in a game, but it's excellently designed, cohesive, and adds to the Cyber City feel as much as you want it to. The wonderful incorporation of nature seeping in just adds authenticity to the story. Sound design is probably one of my favourite aspects of the game. I love that I wasn't bombarded with a sensory overload of beeps and boops. The tip-tapper of little paws on different surfaces was endearing, and sometimes even funny. Most of all, the music was so captivating that you could feel the bass in your chest, creating an immersive experience that you'll hear and feel every time you think about it. Now, to wrap up, I've been playing games for quite a number of years, and I've reviewed my fair share too. And I can say with confidence that Stray does not need 9 lives, does not need DLC, and doesn't need to be played more than once. The game delivers a powerful, satisfying first experience, and knocks all of its goals out of the park. It has a great story that's not overbearing. It has fun gameplay and controls. You don't even have to be a hardcore gamer to enjoy this gem. It's an aesthetically pleasing mix of cyberpunk and Resident Evil for cats. Well, minus the nudes and the zombies, of course. And offers something for everyone. Puzzles, humour, and heartwarming kitty moments that can melt even the coldest of hearts. It appeals to all age groups. Stray is not made for children or adults. Not for gender, not for race, not for social stature. It's a game about all of us, and made for gamers.